Did you know that a woman spends on average 72 days of their entire lives shaving their legs? That is two and a half months of life wasted on razor bumps and ingrown hair. Well, if you're tired of shaving, plucking, or waxing, maybe you should give something like this a try. I wanna thank Kenzie for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna talk about how this device works and my results so far. Hi, my name is Amy, and on this channel, we're all about making smart and savvy decisions around luxury fashion. But for today's video, I actually want to address all your top comments about my skin. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Hey Amy, can you please do a skincare routine video because your skin is so beautiful. And also, what makeup do you use? It looks like glass skin. The truth is that I have pretty decent skin. I don't think I have glass skin, but we can still focus on the things that we can change such as a healthy lifestyle, a simple skincare routine, have your brows done and shaped, and also your facial hair taken care of. I've actually done a two hour, very in-depth live stream video, and I'm gonna be linking that down below where I talked about my favorite skincare products, and I even got ready on camera, so definitely check that out. But for today's video, I wanna tackle the subject of facial hair, which I did not talk about in that video. Prior to the quarantine lockdown, I was actually going to my trusted threading salon every three to four weeks religiously. I always get my brows and upper lips threaded. But ever since they're closed in March and they're still closed right now, I have pretty much mastered at shaping and plucking my own brows. But my upper lips? So tedious, so painful to pluck every single individual hair. Thank goodness I discovered the Kenzie back in April when they reached out to me. The Kenzie is an at-home IPL hair removal device and it uses light energy to disrupt the hair growth process inside the hair follicles. It actually works a lot like laser hair removal. The difference is that laser focuses just one wavelength of light onto your skin, whereas IPL releases light of many different wavelengths, like a photo flash. Both laser and IPL works on the melanin on your hair follicles. Melanin is actually the pigment on your skin, on your hair, as well as your irises, and it's also responsible for when you get tanned when exposed to sunlight. The way it works is that the light heats up the pigment of your hair follicles Follicles, therefore destroying the follicle over time which prevents it from growing back which is also why if you have very light skin and very dark hair your hair will be absorbing the most light energy and you're the perfect candidate however if you do have very dark skin then most of the light energy is absorbed by your skin before it even hits the hair follicle which is the reason why IPL is not suitable for the darkest skin all things being equal both methods are equally effective most people find that IPL is much less painful Painful. In fact, it's actually not that painful. IPL treatments are a lot faster and it takes up a lot less time than laser treatments per session. IPL is usually much, much cheaper than laser treatments. A session of laser hair removal can cost an average of $285. IPL is the latest trend at hair removal and you can do it at the comfort of your own home. It is also a very safe, progressive solution and most people will actually see results within three to four sessions, which is four weeks after 12 sessions which is 12 weeks you're gonna see optimal results after the 12th treatment all you need to do is go back every two to three months because of the technology which I explained earlier IPL is generally better at working on a larger area whereas laser is very localized it comes with a pretty comprehensive quick starter guide so it has instructions as well as warnings as to what to do what not to do two items inside the box the actual IPL device and the charger. This charger, you plug it into the wall and it has a very, very long cord. On the back of the device, you have the on-off switch, which will turn green when you turn it on. On the front of the device, you're gonna find a large button in the center, and this is the pulse button. So every time you press on it, it will pulse. You can adjust the light energy to five different intensity. The bottom area is the indicator of your energy level and you just control that by pressing the same green button on the back. Obviously, if you use it at intensity 5, it will be a lot more effective and faster, but if you have very sensitive skin, definitely use a lower level and just work your way up. The way I did it is that I tested level 1 first on my skin, so I just did it on my arms, and it just felt warm. Honestly, it wasn't painful at all. But next, I tried level 2, then level 3, and I graduated to level 5. I would say that level 5, it will feel like 
kind of like an elastic band flicking at you. You can use the Kenzie all over your body, all the way up to your upper lips. Definitely don't go over that. You definitely don't want the light energy going into your eye. I actually just close my eyes when I treat my upper lip. And you don't have to worry about the light going off by itself accidentally. It only goes off if it's completely against your skin. And of course, only after you press the pulse button. Depending on the area of the body that you want to treat, it can be a little bit more sensitive. So for me, because I really don't have much body hair, I actually did not really need to treat my arms. I just wanted to test it out. I mainly wanted to work on my mustache because that's the area that I always get taken care of at my threading place. But ever since I got the Kenzie, it's so much more faster. It's not painful. Well, compared to plucking, it really is not painful. Trust me, even though it is more sensitive on the upper lip rather than the arm, it really is still not comparable to plucking one individual hair at a time. So in order to prep your skin, all you need to do is just shave the area, make sure that it's completely clean, no moisturizers, no oils. The reason why you have to shave instead of plucking or waxing is that you have to have at least the root of your hair follicle on your skin in order for the light to be able to work on the melanin. So make sure to not pluck or wax when you do use the Kenzie. Now, if you have extremely sensitive skin, you may want to exfoliate and shave the night before and then use the Kenzie the next day. And always, always remember to wear sunscreen after using the Kenzie. You should always wear sunscreen anyway. So another point to note is that you can go over the same area at the very maximum three times. The way I did it is just, I just go on the lower lip and I press once. I go in the middle, I press another time, and then I go a little higher and I press once. I do that on the side, in the middle, three times, and then on this side, three times. So it's not really going over three times, but some areas will overlap. What I really like about the Kenzie is that the machine is very lightweight, it's super fast to use, it literally takes me one minute to treat this area. And of course, if you work on your legs or your arms, it's gonna take a little longer. I can imagine maybe taking half an hour. I don't have that problem, I'm super lucky, I know. I just use this for one minute during my nighttime routine, once every weekend. So far, I'm on my fourth treatment, so on my fourth week, and I'm already starting to notice that the hair around the lip area is growing a lot slower. Normally, within one week, you can see the, the little fuzz, the little peach fuzz are coming back out and starting to get long, but now it doesn't even show up really. Like, it's, it's growing, obviously. I'm only at my fourth treatment, but I hardly even see it. Like I almost don't even have to touch it basically. So the Kenzie retails for 229 US dollars, but I'm also gonna link my coupon code down below, which you can use to bring your price down to 179. So definitely check out the link. Their website also seems to convert to your local currency, which makes checkout really easy. So far, I've only tested the Kenzie on my upper lip and I'm already seeing results, which I'm so excited to maybe even try my underarms. I don't have a lot of hair there, but instead of epilating every couple weeks, I think I might just give this a try and maybe I don't even have to epilate that often anymore. Okay, now I want to pass on the questions off to you. What is your best kept secret for having good skin or for keeping your hair in check? Have you actually tried laser hair removal or have you considered something like the Kenzie and at home IPL hair removal device? Let us all know down below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back and have a great day everyone. Bye guys.